I'm in London at the Tech Leaders Conference. I'm on a panel discussion about Beyond RPA, supercharging your automation efforts with AI. Now, RPA is Robotic Process Automation, and it's a technology that has really boomed in recent years that glues together the systems within an organization the systems, spreadsheets, documents, all those processes that are quite manual, they involve cutting and pasting data from one place to another. So what RPA does is it glues those legacy systems together um, and automates the shuffling of data between those systems, the cutting and pasting, all those mundane tasks. On top of that, you can then layer artificial intelligence, which makes the capabilities of RPA go from something that's just following a rigid mechanical process to something that can be a bit more flexible, can learn and can even make some small improvements to the process. So very uh, excited to be part of that panel discussion and I better get in there and get registered. I guess some of the things that we've done, it's a, a bit of a nuance, is actually just automate a bad process. I know some people will be offended by that probably, because we, <laughs> we, if, we, if we have a situation where you've got a, a deadline, okay, and that's the first time I've been told I'm not, not loud enough, so that's... Uh, <laughs> um, if you're trying to um, hit a deadline, we'd have had no problem going out to a recruitment firm and getting people in to do a bad process, more people to do a bad process. But there seems to be this sort of want not to give... Uh, uh, computers the, the task of doing those things but um, what we found is to your point if you in the first instance can just get things done more quickly and relieve the pain point in part A you'll actually find that it's been hiding problems further down the process and then you will see that in one instance literally explode in, um, in other parts in terms of uh, issues so you're completely right you have to have uh, a holistic view as much as possible but don't let that stop you doing because generally we, we've learned an awful lot more by doing. I completely agree learn by doing and sort of understand the limitations better. Um, I'll come back to this subject I'm sure there'll be questions from the floor as well but you know uh, uh, Richard I was going to ask you a lot of people are still frightened of AI they think it's a really sort of unknown thing and uh, they are worried about it also going terribly wrong. Um, but a natural sort of journey for enterprises is to do the RPA stuff, learn about codifying their processes and then moving to AI. But it still seems quite slow. What do you think is sort of stopping them? Uh, why aren't we further ahead in that field? I think, I think there's a couple of points. Going to the point of actually just touching back on the point of challenges, RPA is a, is, is a great tool. Um, so many organizations got a lot of different systems and RPA provides a way of gluing those systems together and automating mundane tasks. But what the other way to look at it is the more glue that you put in place, the more difficult it will be to actually reinvent those legacy systems. One of the promises that the RPA companies make is that you'll free up people who are doing very mundane and repetitive tasks um, to do more creative tasks within an organization. And there was one example that I was chatting to one of the guys on the panel with about where one of the women in, in one of the operational teams had had a robot assistant to help her out in her role. And because of a process change, that robot broke. And the initial reaction was okay, well, let's just revert back to the old manual process where we use people to do those jobs. But the woman in question was like, no, 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 I want you to fix the robot because I don't want to go back to doing that repetitive task. I want the robot to work with this slightly modified process. So that's what they did. I think the interesting thing is to hear that actually the promise, the promise from the RPA com companies that says, yes, you'll, re you'll reduce the repetitive task. There's one anecdotal example of actually on, on the front line, she, she actually wanted that to be the case. So that was really good to hear.